I think uh, well, I, th- I think he did the the brave thing in resigning. We don't see a lot of that in politics, where somebody just steps up to the mark and says, and he didn't even try to to get away with it by saying it was an accident. He said the first time was an accident. He was trying to look at tractors, and he accidentally stumbled across some pornography, which mm. happens a lot when you're googling tractors. Well, apparently. it might have done because there's mostly men that would be googling tractors, probably, and therefore, and you get things sent to your phone. I so. have never once come across pornography when I've been looking for tractors. Have you ever looked for but tractors? Of course. I'm I from think South perhaps we Scotland. should give you. We'll give but you a little test to look for tractors and see what comes yeah, up. No, no porn will come up. You've got to be specifically looking for porn for it to come up. But what, what I like was he admitted the second time he stumbled across it the first time, uh, but he said I liked it, so I decided to have a longer look and mm. deliberately found it the second time. Uh, but there's a, there's a time and a place for, for pornography. I think if it's 11pm in a travel lodge, mm-hmm. then fine, you can look at pornography if you're on your own. Uh, but if you're sitting in a place of work with people around you, especially, especially women, and especially when uh, you know, you're right in the week that the Parliament's been embroiled in a you know, sexism scandal with Angela Rayner... <laughs> Like, just don't be looking at porn on your phone. Well, the thing is as well, um, Darren McCaffrey, who, who interviewed him before this all happened, he goes to the House of, uh, House of Commons very regularly. And um, they've all said that actually it's quite clear to see what people are in, doing in front of you. And the, apparently the benches are very uncomfortable. Mm. And you can see overhead what everyone's doing. So if you're going to be looking at pornography, lots of people will be overseeing what you're doing in any case. Yanis. I absolutely disagree that he... I don't think he should have resigned. Mm. And I I thought your guest, uh, Mr Baker, everything he said, I I agreed with. There should have been due process. Absolutely. He didn't resign. Let's let's be truthful. He was was forced to go. Under pressure. He was forced to go because, obviously, you've got the by-elections coming up, local elections, and they, they didn't want it to reflect badly on the party. That's it. Where was the outrage when a sitting prime minister broke the law? Where was the outrage with Owen Paterson? You know, these are big, dis- big incidents in Parliament. Nothing. There was far Someone more watching... outrage over Owen Paterson. Eventually, but I'm saying now we're all talking about it, watching porn, watching porn. Due process. If he was working in a company anywhere else, uh, in a company, what would have happened? He would have been called in. Yes, he would have. There would have been some disciplinary action. He wouldn't have resigned over it. Mm. If it was, if he was doing it consistently, if he was doing it to influence, let's say he was deliberately trying to show uh, the other female MPs. Now that's been alluded to. He's had no right to defend himself against that. I think it's more the sort of idiocy of looking at porn when you know your screen is clearly visible. Uh, to other All right, people. it's a mistake. I mean, so there's idiocy there. There's uh, there's a moral issue like looking at porn at work. Um, there's uh, there's the fact that he, he can't cope with the pressure. You say he's uh, crumbled under under a little bit of pressure. Well, you're not supposed to crumble under pressure when you're a politician. Well, no, hang Stand on. Stand up to it. 